Hi everyone, this is Ginger Pana. I wanted to do a video share of a, um, it's not a swap, it's a Christmas gift exchange event that I'm going to tomorrow. So I have to uh, record this and then I have to wrap everything up and get it ready for tomorrow. So this is an um, yearly swap that I'm in and um, what we do is a bunch of us commit to this Christmas luncheon and we make um, handmade gifts for each other. So everything has to be handmade. Um, we cannot buy, store buy it. So this is um, my swap. Actually, I kind of had to um, change it up a little. I was always going to do the Traveler's Notebook, but I had another project that I was doing, but it got too heavy. I have to walk to the event, and I just I'm still recovering from my surgery, so... Um, I can't carry anything heavy, so I had to think of something else to add to this um, at the last minute. Not last minute, but last couple of weeks. So anyways, here goes. Um, I finally jumped on the bandwagon of um, Traveler's Notebooks. And so I've been kind of watching hundreds of videos in the past six months. I've maybe made a dozen or so Traveler's Notebooks, parts of it. All went to the trash can. <laughs> um, I, you know, something always didn't come out. So I either reused it or threw it away. But I think I got it to a point where I am satisfied with how I make them. I've learned a lot from all of you here on YouTube. So thank you so much for all of your detailed tutorials. They're very, very helpful. And you guys are awesome. I don't know if I can do any tutorials at this point, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> so most of the tutorials that I watched was from Bona Live Love Scrap, and she does a fantastic job in covering all the different pieces of a traveler's notebooks in different sizes. And so um, I followed a lot of her tutorials. Um, some of the others were Tamika from Scrap the World, Louisa from KSP by Louisa. Louisa does really great um, tutorials as well. So thank you, ladies. <clears throat> So here is my Traveler's Notebook. Here in Hawaii, we don't have a lot of supplies, so I have to order a lot of them online. And so one of the things was this elastic band. So I had to wait till everything came in. But um, this is it finally. This is how my Traveler's Notebook looks like. So each girl will have a different um, design. So this one, this first one is from the Hot Buy Pad from Michaels. It is the Serenity paper pad okay beautiful paper so each traveler's notebook is the same as far as what's inside um, so I'll show you this one so here we take off the elastic and the girls who I'm making this for I'm gonna steer them or um, tell them about my YouTube video so they can watch it in case they don't know what to do with their traveler's notebook okay so, um, I, it's kind of basic. It's very simple. And so this is the cover. So ladies, a traveler's notebook is just something that you can carry with you and put your notes on and keep a calendar in it. And so you can put in your purse. I made it to A6 size, which is 4 by 6 And so it's easy to carry. So inside, there is a side pocket. And I did a, um, I guess this is a vertical pocket. I think it can hold a little bit more. <clears throat> this first page is a shaker. And <clears throat> yeah, I, I used my fuse tool, so it's all in there. And there's the back of the dashboard. And the first insert is a calendar. So I purchased a ready-made calendar. I cut it down to size and then I put it, I made my own cover. So that's the first insert with the back side of the shaker. And you can always take out the paper or add things in here to change it up. Okay, the second insert is a notebook. And these notebooks I got from the Dollar Tree when I was uh, visiting Las Vegas earlier in the year. So I bought a, a, a whole lot of them. Okay, so that's the Traveler's Notebook. Here I have a page marker, 
and a page marker is just like a book marker and you can place it wherever if you're writing a note and you want to save your place you can just put it right there so you know where you left off so the page marker is also laminated and it has a pen holder and this pen holder um, Bona had done a tutorial on using your VR memory keepers um, punch board and I laminated the designer paper and there is a target target dollar spot pocket here okay so I just put little ephemera and cards in here so maybe they could use it in their Travers notebook this piece this middle insert is um, a combination of a card holder and a four pocket I guess folder so this four pocket folder um, if you I think it's from Serenity Creations from Anna um, and she my paper is not two sided so I had to double it up and she does a great tutorial on how to make these edges um, just fold it in and it really gives it a nice touch and here is a pocket that they could put things in this is a tutorial I found um, when you search DIY trifold wallet insert Noe Hoffman on YouTube teaches how to do one of these um, she has a trifold I just made mine into a two just to wrap around my insert so this is a pocket which goes all the way down this one holds four credit card business cards um, gift cards Okay, so it holds four on this side. On the other side of the folder, there's four more, four more. So they're all laminated. Okay, so you can go to um, Noe's channel and she teaches you how to do it. There's other tutorials on it, but I ended up using Noe's. Um, it was very, um, the tutorial is very good. So thank you. And you know, the others who made tutorials, um, it was very helpful to see different ways and you know just repetitive so that I could learn and this is one I think I threw away maybe about 10 of them okay so next is a um, dashboard so this is a laminated dashboard so with a paper clip on it but each of these you can it's top loading so you can take it out and put things in it it's also um, sturdy enough where you can stick your notes on it post-it notes, washi tape, things like that, that you have a to-do list and you can take it up, you know, take off the post-it when you're done with it. And the last insert is another notebook. So this is the dashboard that surrounds it right here. And in the back, there is another um, pocket here that's um, vertical. Okay, so this is the Travers notebook. So I have... For each one, it has all the contents that I've just went through. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a charm yet. I still haven't perfected that. So I think as far as charms and danglies go, this will be it. So each one has a dangly charm. And I got this at a local crafter. She had made it. It's made out of resin. And so here is this my other Travers notebook. And this one is from the C'est La Vie paper stack. It's another hot buy at Michael's. So it's kind of a Paris theme. But I really love this black and orange and reds in here. Okay, so same thing. Side pocket. Shaker. Here is a calendar. And then here is a notebook. Here is the page marker. Here is the um, credit card, business card insert with the uh, four pocket folder. And the back side of the credit card. So it can hold four cards here and four cards here. Here is a shaker, I mean, a dashboard, laminated dashboard with a paper clip. And the last notepad insert. The back of the dashboard and then the back with a pocket. Okay. Um, next is this one and this one is 
from the another hot buy paper pad it's the uptown chic sorry for the glare so I love this one look at those little dogs and pineapple so it's kind of really pastel -y. so it has um, sorry it has this charm in the front so they're all donuts except for that Paris one it's like a um, one of those I, don't, I forgot what you call this kind of donuts okay so here's the inside with the vertical pocket the shaker and then here's the calendar here is the back of the shaker here's a notebook here is that credit card business card holder here is the page marker here is the uh, four pocket folder here is the second half of the credit card holder. Here is the last insert with this laminated dashboard, dash, yeah, dashboard, and the paper clip, and the notepad. And here is the back. Okay. I only could find one of these sparkly pens from the Target Dollar Spot. The rest have a planner pen in it. So ladies, you can always switch out your pens if you want to. And here is the last traveler's notebook that I made for this um, event. So this one is from a Tuesday morning paper pad. So it is the Saturday Dear Lizzie from um, Tuesday morning. Okay. So this one also has the shaker here with the vertical pocket. The back, this is the calendar insert. The back of the shaker. Here is a notebook. And here is the um, <clears throat> laminated page marker. And this one is cute. You could use some of that dry erase markers to put notes on it Get the pen there's the back okay and here is the um, pocket with the credit card holder and here is the four pocket folder inside the other four credit card holder the other four this is a laminated dashboard with the paper clip and these dashboards are all top loading. I forgot if I said that. And last but not least, the fourth um, insert is a notebook with um, the back of the dasher. I'm sorry, I keep saying dasher, dashboard, and the pocket. Okay. So they all are set up the same same way. Just I use different designer papers for each one, and then I went ahead and I made. Um, mini albums and this cut is from die cut is from the Laurie Whitlock uh, I don't have the cover I threw it away I think but this is the Sizzix Laurie Whitlock mini album die and so it cuts out the back the layering piece and the binding so I put gold um, and white tool in each one and then each one follows the same paper line and so they're kind of the same. It's very plain, but I just added some tuck spots so that they could put their pictures and journaling in it. So each one has 12 pages, well, 10 pages, and then 11 and 12 for the cover and the back. So this one goes with this one. This one goes with the uptown chic uptown paper line <clears throat> this one goes with the Paris paper pad
And last but not least is this one, Serenity. Sorry, I don't think they're all in frame. I think I'm too close. Okay, so I just love this die. It's a easy way to uh, make a mini album. And you can add as many pages as you want to it. Okay, so this is my share. And I just wanted a quick note. Um, you know, having the right tools makes it really easy. I had to finally retire my laminator, which was many, many years old. Um, and I invested in the Scotch laminator that all you crafters have. And you guys mentioned it was like maybe $12 at Walmart and stuff, Target. But the stores here, they all sell it for like $30 to $40. So I bought my Scotch laminator from Walmart at $40. But it's okay. It was a very good investment. I also had this, the Big Bite. And this is like over 20 years old too. I've never used it until doing the Traveler's Notebook. But this made it so easy to punch the holes in the middle of the Traveler's Notebook in the spine. Okay. I also purchased a um, boss stick. It is a... I forgot what kind of uh, stapler this is. But it goes on the spine. You see this? Um, it, it kind of mimics the the um book and so i don't have a traveler's notebook by me but if you put it in here and it lines it up just perfectly where the spine is and you push this down and it staples it perfectly where you want it to okay so i did invest in one of these see it's on the side it's kind of like a angle stapler so this is where the middle of the, where you want staples to go okay and of course, of course, my crop a dial to make all the holes um, here. Okay, so that was, um, this is what I'm going to gift the girls tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all of those who watch. Thank you to my subbies. I appreciate you supporting me. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.